The jab is not a knockdown punch and is used to get the distance or impede the opponent's advances. Now, when the opponent punches, next, the follow up. Next, the right straight, which is a knockdown punch and can be used as a counter strike. Next, the left hook, which is a mid-range punch and so may be done after ducking the opponent's punch. Next, the right hook. It's used mainly in punch exchanges and combinations, or as a cross against a left jab. The uppercut, I'll now do is used against an opponent who is crouched down or who throws himself forward. Come in from below. Raise from below. You punch up from below to raise the opponent's upper body, and then go into the next attack. Or else. Here, come in from below. Let's try this. That's how it's used. Next, we'll do the elbow strike. In close combat, the elbow strike is effective if used when the opponent goes to grab you or hug your neck. One use is to hit the jaw from below, or he goes to get your neck. Cover from above. It's used in this manner. He cups your neck. Here, cover from above. Cover from the left and right. Use it like this. When going from punching distance to grappling, the elbow strike is used as follows. Right from here, swing the elbow at the opponent. Same on the other side. It goes in directly. That's one use. Let's explain the roundhouse, the most commonly used kick in matches. Its targets include upper level, the temples and jaw. Middle level, the body, or kicking the guarding arm to lower it. And lower level, the base of the thigh or just above the knee. One aims at these areas or also, the inner thigh and the back leg. One kicks these areas, then as a follow-up to a punch. One uses these combinations. For front kick targets there's the middle level, and the upper level, aiming at the opponent's jaw. In an actual match, this can be used as a counter against the opponent's punch or kick. From there, you can come in with a punch, or with a kick. 
That's how it's used. For the knee kick, having closed in, you take and control the opponent's neck, kicking to the body, or the face. Also from the side. It's used in this manner. To come in, you can punch and move in, or against the opponent's punch, grab his neck and go in from there, or against a throw or the like, when you're in a clinch. Besides the close-in situation, when the opponent punches, you can use it as part of a counter. It may also be used against a sweep. Next, the side kick. For the side kick, when there's distance between you and the opponent, when he advances, slide on your pivot foot to move in and deliver the kick. Then follow up into the next attack. Or kick from where you are with the edge or heel of the rear foot. Stepping in to close the distance, and then follow through with the next attack. The back kick is a surprise attack, and so you use it in the interval when the opponent's attack terminates. The kick is done as a counter in the interval between the opponent's attacks. Or else use a feeler technique, for instance a left roundhouse, and when the opponent pulls back, counter kick. Let us look at throwing techniques. In judo or the like, people fight from this kind of grappling position. But since karate includes knee kicks, punches, head buffs, etc. In a Daido Yuku style karate match to do a throw, one always comes in fight. One stands fight against the opponent when throwing so as to avoid his strikes. First, I'll explain the Ashibarai or leg sweep, a commonly used technique. When the opponent seizes your neck, grab his coat or belt or cup his arms from below and lift up.
then sweep the leg. Once more. The leg sweep is also effective when the opponent grabs your neck and does a knee kick. Finish him off. Another representative technique is the Ochigori, in a leg clip done after catching a middle kick. Catching the opponent's leg and grabbing his coat. Step in. And clip the leg. Once more. Here, take a step in. From there, squeeze his knee and get the Achilles tendon. If submission holds are allowed, do an Achilles lock. This is a representative technique an application of Uchigari. Another basic technique is the Kubi Nage or Neck Throw. It's the most commonly used technique. In Dado Yuku style one generally stands with the left foot forward. And so most often throws such as Kubi Nage are done from the left, with the left foot forward. Also, you don't grab like in judo. You are going from punching to grappling, and so in Dado Yuku, throws done from this type at position are very common. Now, to explain the neck throw. Here again, your left foot is forward. Step with it a little to the left. Then bring your right foot around. Here, you either grab his coat or clasp his arm and pull in firmly. Catching his neck with your arm and pulling down strongly toward your body. Snap your hips up by springing with the knees and pull him over. The most common follow-up from there is to go into an arm bar. Squeezing his arm between your legs and hooking your right leg over, you break his arm. Make sure you are in close. Don't have your hips out too far. Throw from this position. I think that here, the way you bring your hips in is a critical point. For the Uchigori, a common pattern involves catching a middle kick. Here, you don't just stand there and receive the kick. Take a step to the side to reduce the impact. Then step forward with the left foot. Then grab his coat or hold his chest. And swinging your leg out, clip his leg. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
step away and catch. Then step forward and grab his coat at the shoulder. Swing your leg out and clip his leg, simultaneously pushing him forward and down. This is an often used technique. From here, the most common move is to squeeze his leg with your knees as you go down, taking his Achilles tendon. Now the use of the Osotogori outer clip. The opponent does a low kick to your front leg. Carry the kick, and then be sure to put your left arm around his neck. Then take down and finish him off. Grab also with your right hand if you can. The basic thing though is shoving him down by the neck with your left arm. And then clip with the left leg. <coughs> 